Hey there everybody, DestroyerX here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play that I recorded on January 19th, 2013, and commentating on, well, on January 20th, 2013. This is actually a requested video. Um, somebody on YouTube, they sent me a message asking if I could do a Let's Play over this particular game, and I thought... Since I was so flattered, I went ahead and honored the request, and, well, here I am doing a Let's Play of it. So what is the game, you may ask? Well, here's a very big hint. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. That's right, we're playing Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. Um, this Jeopardy, of course, is a quiz show that was created by Merv Griffin. It was actually, it debuted on on NBC on March 30th, 1964. However, the version that many people are familiar with is the syndicated version, which aired on September 10th, 1984, with Alex Trebek as the host and Johnny Gilbert as the announcer. Now, this game was actually requested to me by a YouTube user called The Wolf Money 2. He actually sent me this message on October 22nd, 2012, asking if I could um, LP this game. Um, either the Wii version or the Super Nintendo version. Um, since I didn't have, I didn't own either version at the time, and I didn't feel like wanting to actually go out and purchase the Super Nintendo version because I would have to either order it, I'd have to order it online or try and track it down a pawn shop. So uh, what I did was I went ahead and just did the, um, I went ahead and finally purchased the, um, the Wii version on January 19th, 2013. And well, it didn't take me long to actually record it. It only took me about roughly about 40 minutes or so. So basically that's pretty much about it. Now, Jeopardy for the Wii, there, it has over 2,400 clues, and you can actually use the Wii Speak to respond verbally to those clues. And how do you answer is, um, the clues are presented in the forms of answers, and you have to phrase your response in the form of a question. So, that's how you have to do it. Um, the, there are three difficulty levels in this, um, in this game, there's easy, medium, and hard, and I actually play it on medium because easy, it's too easy because of the fact that it gives you, because um, when you try and answer a, um, a clue, then basically it gives you a multiple choice of four, I think, I think like there are four, um, um, it says there on the screen how many, about how many options it gives you. And I thought that was a little bit too easy, so I went ahead and actually just chose medium because I didn't want this being insanely hard. So there you go. And this is actually the this is actually my first game on the Wii that I've actually LP'd. So you're actually going to be seeing the debut of my me, which obviously my me does not look like a robot. I wish it did. The, it would have been a lot more epic. So um, that's a rough approximation of what I look like. Um, obviously, I'm not skinny. I didn't. Um, my actual me. Not the one that's in the game, but my actual me in the me channel is actually, it gives a better representation of what I look like as far as me being, well, husky. But, oh well. Um, but yeah, that's my me. <laughs> and yes, I do have an afro. I still have an afro to this day. I have no intention of cutting my hair anytime soon. But yeah. 
Um, for those who are unfamiliar with Jeopardy, um, basically there are three rounds with Jeopardy. There's the Jeopardy round, the double Jeopardy round, and the final Jeopardy round. Now what you have to do is, um, of course it gives you, uh, in the Jeopardy round, it gives you some dollar values between $200 to $1,000. And in the double Jeopardy round, those, value, those values double, bet anywhere between... Um, four hundred dollars to two thousand dollars now basically the way it works is you'll have your categories and of course which it could be and then each category will have dollar amounts of course from depending upon which round of jeopardy you're in and that's pretty much it now how do you play well basically let's just give a sample um Let's give a sample question. This is, I don't think this is in the game, but here's a sample. Um, let's say um, this popular manga featuring a boy with a, um, with a, with a monkey tail was created by famous manga ka Akira Toriyama. And you would respond, what is Dragon Ball? And that would be the correct answer. Now, you, if you give an incorrect response, what will happen is you'll deduct from your, by the amount that you've, you know, wagered. Let's say you chose $200 question, you would lose $200. And so on and so forth. If you were to win, do, if you were to actually um, get the question right, then you get $200. And Canada, so Mexico, yeah, not too bad, not United too shabby States. at all. <laughs> Player one, where do we start? Select a clue by but yes, the um, the and there's also um, there's also it also appears at random, but there are some occasions where you can find a daily double. Now, daily double, you'll be able to wager Let's hear it, up to Select the amount that is shown the on the daily double. The Let's. Let's say you had, if the daily double was, you found a daily double in a $200 square, which is rare, like next to impossible, I think, then um, what you can do is you can wager up to $200. Um, but you'll mostly see them in like $800 squares, $1,000 squares, higher value squares, I should say. At least that's what I've experienced through my LP. It may not be true throughout, the, if throughout all your gaming experiences, but uh, it's pretty safe to say that it's probably going to end up being in higher value squares. We were looking for. Main. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, we return to you, player one. The final Jeopardy round, well, I'm, I'll get into that in part two because I don't want to give everything away. Now, I will admit, I'm not okay, much of a... Um, now, Jeopardy itself, occasionally they'll have some pop culture questions. Um, pop, um, pop culture clues, which I'm not good at pop culture anything. Oh, so, what you'll have to do is, um, there, and of course there's going to be plenty of scholarly questions. Plenty of scholarly questions. And I'm not much of a scholar of sorts. I mean, I am a nerd. Don't get me wrong. I am a nerd. However, I'm not much of a scholar. So, what I had to do in my particular playthrough is, I only, I try to answer questions that I knew within a 90 to 95 percent certainty. And that's how I played. I played pretty defensively for the most part. Well, it's not really defensive, it's, I tried to play smart. Now, how that will plan out, pan out towards my, throughout the entire game, well, that's why you're watching. <laughs> So, some of these questions I should know. Yes, I mean, there's some questions that you'll see that, you know, I won't answer a lot of them, but there are some that I will answer, Anyone else care to try to come up mostly because I, I feel confident that I know the answer to them. So, there you go. <laughs> of course, you hear Alex Trebek in the game, and one of the things I do like about this particular, ver the Wii version, is that, um, well, when you're listening, when you're, whether you get the, que when you get the question wrong, we're talking about Alex Trebek will actually tell you what the right answer is. He'll actually Player say one, it. Back to you. I mean, it'll, of course, it'll also be on the screen for, if you, of course, um, so that way you can actually um, see the actual textual, the actual text response, but he'll also say it as well, so you'll have the text and the audio, 
which I thought was pretty interesting too, yeah, because too. you know, I think some a lot of the earlier games. I mean, the earlier Maybe games you won't hear that. I mean, you won't get to hear the audio and things like that, especially things like the um, like Nintendo sixty four and earlier, because those are cartridge based and they have only so much that space on them anyway. Select again. So there you go. <laughs> Let's get oh yeah. Um, some of these questions you may, I'm pretty sure you. Some people are going to be screaming at me, saying, "You should have known the answer to that question." Well, I'm not. I'm not a soup. I'm not. I may be a nerd, but I'm not exactly the most knowledgeable person in the entire world. I do make mistakes. I am allowed to make mistakes. I am only human. Only human. <laughs> but yeah. Um. As you can imagine, this game is a three-player game, so if I had two other people that were playing with me, then they could actually, um, well, join in, and if I had two other people playing the game with me, they can join in and on the fun, and we could test our metal to see which one will actually win the game. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's the South American National Capital. I will say, though, that the, um... The theme song for the game um, is actually going to be is based okay, on the one. theme song for this syndicated version, which was is called Think. And although it has um, the, the it has been reversioned every so often, um, the you know the the theme song has remained consistent throughout the syndicated version. Which I think is pretty inter interesting. I like the original version of Think, though. The one that we heard back in the 80s. Hey, you're right. Um, the, another thing I wish that this game had, though, is I wish this game had some some options to where we can hear the the original 1984 version of the game of the theme song. I wish we had the option to um, be able to hear the... I mean, be able to see the, 19, the older sets from the 1980s and 90s. That would have been a lot. That would have been pretty interesting too. But eh, I suppose due to space limitations, that's why we don't see it. But it's okay though. After all, I mean, I doubt anybody plays Jeopardy just to check out the scenery. I mean, check out the scenery and check out the music. They play to, you know, quiz themselves, to see what they know, see what they don't know. Let's hear it. I was tempted to answer this question, but in all honesty, I was like, no, I'm, no. And I'm glad I didn't answer that question, because I would have been wrong. Losing the Oscar for 1954's A Star is Born was called the biggest... Some of these questions are incredibly difficult to answer, because... Layer three. As I mentioned, there's pop culture questions, there's also, um, scholarly questions. There's even questions... Well, it's not just pop as culture. Judy, it's also things from the pa from the past as well. Said, and I mean, look at this place. The army couldn't afford drapes. Now, as far as the Wii version of Jeopardy, you can get it okay, pretty cheap. I mean, I bought mine for under twenty dollars. It was like um, sixteen ninety nine or something like that from GameStop. But I bought it used. Um, if you can find it new from GameStop at like nineteen ninety nine or something like that 1996-1999 so it's not too bad I think that's a fair price for the game um of course I'm not gonna keep this game I'm gonna I've already shown off what I needed to show off so I'm gonna go ahead after the LP is over I'm gonna take the game back on Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon so the largest in area it's not that I don't like this game. I mean, I do like the game. It's just that, um, Let's hear it, player one. well, it's a lot more entertaining if I had... It would be more entertaining if I had some people to play with, so... That's why I'm going to take the game back. Yeah. Yep. Please pick again, player one. I have to admit, though, some of these questions are, are pretty easy. Catholic. Yes, now, how do I know... So now, how do I know some of these questions on here for the um, for this particular category? Well, a lot of it's due to the fact that um, I don't know. I just know it. 
I didn't do a practice run, run, by the way. This is the this is a bona fide run. I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, I didn't okay, look up any one. of the answers on Wikipedia. I didn't look up any. I didn't look at anything up on my cell phone. I didn't go to Game Facts to look up any information. So what you're seeing is a genuine bona fide first run of the game. Right, you are. Layer one, back to you. So yeah, that's there you go. <laughs> In chapter eight of this novel, Atlanta. Oh, I wish I would have known some. An, I wish I would have been able to answer some questions power. from this category, though. But it's all right. Here's the correct response. Gone with the wind. Now, my copy of this game didn't come with an instruction manual, but it's not too hard to pick up, in all honesty. If you've seen Jeopardy, if you've seen Jeopardy and if you're willing to go through the gameplay tutorial, then you'll get the hang of the game pretty quickly. It's not rocket science. That's right, way to go. Select again. On the Galapagos Islands, now, one of the things that, you know, I didn't know, well, I didn't really, actually, I didn't know this, but, um, the theme song for the, um, for the, for the, um, syndicated version of the show, um, from 1984 to 1997, the composer was actually Merv Griffin, so I didn't know that. You pick again, please. And then, of course, you have, well, I'm not going to go through all this, it's one of those things where if you want to know the information, just look on Wikipedia. <laughs> Player three. But one of the things I do notice here is that it does say that there are Again, over nine, there's over it nine thousand um, episodes. If you count the original version from the 1960s to present day, there are over nine thousand episodes of Jeopardy that have been produced so far. So yeah, it's a very very long last long-lasting game it's not it's not consistently though it's not consistent though because um ruled by an emperor they actually had a um they actually had the the original version lasted from 1964 to 1975 and then they had a a um a nighttime syndicated version from 1974 to 1975 and then they had another Daytime series from 1978 to 1979, and that, and then, and then after that, it was the um, syndicated version from 1984 to present days, which is what we're seeing right now. Well, we're not seeing the game; we're seeing a video game based on the game, uh, based on the 1984 version. <laughs> oh boy! You get to pick again, player one. In Pride and oh, I wish I knew the, the and I wish I knew the stuff from this category this though. I would have I would have felt a lot better. But I didn't know any of the I didn't know any yes, of the responses from this category. Oh. But it's okay though. I I'm not it's not I'm not a know it all. So I'm not a know it all, nor do I play one on T V. Okay, player two. Player two, back to you. But so far, I've managed to get myself into a comfortable lead. And there's a daily double right there. Here's the way the daily double will work. She has negative 400 points right, four, negative 400 dollars right now. She wagered 350 dollars. If she gets this right, then she'll be, she'll be at negative 50 dollars. And she does get it right, so she's now at negative fifty dollars. So she's still in the red, but she's gradually getting out of the red. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I have never read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, by the way, so I couldn't tell you. You're out of the hole. We return to you, player two. Judy Reyes staffed Sacred Heart Hospital as nurse Carla I wish. Well, some of these actually. No, I didn't know all of these, but I ended up. I do end up answering one of these questions right here. Here is what we wanted. Scrubs. 
Scrubs. Ah, uh, well, that's pop culture, and I'm not good at pop pop culture at all. Blah. However, I did know this one because I am familiar with Who's the Boss because I've actually seen some old episodes of that series because I actually grew up with that series, although I've only seen a few episodes. And it's Tony Danza. <laughs> so, yeah, not bad. Anyway, um, part one is almost over, so what will happen is... And part two, we will go into Double Jeopardy and Final Jeopardy, and we'll I'll also give my opinions about this game that I if any opinions that I didn't say already then I'll give them in the in part two so until part two I will catch everybody later take care everybody let's hear it take care everybody and ciao for now <laughs> all right That's bye everybody layer two you're going first in the double jeopardy round when we return <laughs>